Hi, my name is Janelle Taylor, also known as Suit Maiden, and today I will be teaching you how to do breaks and paddles of all kinds. Alright, so here we go. <laughs> So here I will be showing you how to do a regular outside break. Be sure you're comfortable with hooping around your chest and stomach as that's the area that you'll be breaking the most around. As it comes around and has the widest part on the outside of your body, bring the opposite arm down in order to create a wall for it to pivot against. See how if I move it back and forth it just wants to go back against my arm and it can actually change direction. So same thing with the other arm, you're going to fully extend it and as it comes out and around to the opposite side, bring your opposite arm down and let that be the wall for the hoop to go against. Now it's going to be a similar concept with these sort of breaks. It's sort of like an under the arm break. As the hoop comes around on that opposite side again, instead of simply bringing your arm straight down, you're going to come up and pinch it with your underarm. See how it still creates that wall and will pivot against it even if you do more than one movement. So as it comes around, instead of putting your arm on the outside of the hoop to create that same wall, you're going to make sure your arm is still on the inside and you're going to bring your arm up at the same time you would normally block it. Also going to be a very similar concept for this sort of break. It was done with the elbow and the same sort of pinching movement. Creates a fun versatile look for your other breaks instead of keeping it in the same routine. So as it comes to that outside of your body, you're going to create that same outer wall as if you were putting your arm down, except you're going to just bend your arm. So make a sort of chicken wing for the wall to come against. Now these are inner hoop breaks. They can be a little more challenging. Um, they're also nicknamed T-Rexing because you make a sort of T-Rex arm in order to do them. So as the hoop is coming around to the closest point of your body near your chest, on either side, it could be in the middle or slightly to the right or left, um, you're going to duck your hand in and sort of just grab it with your hand and that actually creates the wall that you would normally make with your arms or elbows. So as it comes to that inner part of your body, just grab it and stop the hoop and let it roll the other direction. Or you could break immediately after with your opposite hand. So that close point of your body, you can grab and do either a single or double break. Yay, off-body breaks. So you're going to be using the same concept that I already explained to you in making your body the wall. So you're going to have your fingers on the inside of the hoop, and you're simply going to bring it around to the sides of your body to create that wall for it to hoop bounce back against. You can duck your fingers up and under. You can actually put your hands inside to create those uh, wall breaks. And you can lift up your arms like so and make your actual chest the wall for it to break against. Yes, you can do elbow breaks with these. Now for this trick, I recommend that you already know how to do chest rolls. Because it can be kind of difficult to do chest rolls in both directions. This is like a breaking sort of chest roll. I don't really know the name for it, but I've seen Tiana use it and therefore I am going to do it. <laughs> so you do sort of a half chest roll and as it comes around and down see how you let it drop behind you? Well instead of dropping behind you lean back and let your arm and side of your hip be a wall for it to bounce against. So you let it come down and bounce and stop. 
and you let the momentum of that bring it back towards you. You can also practice just simply shifting it between the two arms like this in order to get used to the movement. So you do continual half chest rolls, break occasionally, and make sure that you use your body as a wall. Ooh, double breaks. These are fun. So you're going to be using that same technique I showed you in order to bring your arm down for a wall, but you're going to pivot it more than once. See how my arm moves back and forth and it keeps going? Exactly like that. Thank you so much for watching and let me know on my channel or Facebook page if there's any moves you'd like to request.